Hello! So yesterday I finished my ASU audition, which is one of my last auditions in my college audition tour, and I wanted to talk about tips and tricks about what you might want to know before your college audition tour that I learned the hard way. First is pre-screens. You want to provide yourself ample time to get those done, to not wait to the last minute, send in something that you're going to really be proud of, and have quality videos have a blank background, have, uh, don't just use an iPhone camera. If you can, I was fortunate enough to use somebody who does that and can directly record me. Uh, do that, uh, take advantages of those. If you can do a live audition though, do that instead of a pre-screen. I promise you it'll be a much better experience than filming yourself. If you're a theater actor like me, you do so much better with an audience in front of you. Um, next is preparation. Again, even with live auditions or pre-screens, do that months in advance. Uh, and here's why. When you go into that audition, you're gonna have nerves. It's inevitable. And if you don't have a song that is muscle memory, you will flub up. Or the accompanist doesn't know your music super well and they mess up you will mess up and be thrown off. So you have to know everything muscle memory, your monologues, your songs, and then you wanna know what the colleges want. You have to prepare, do they want a 16 bar cutting, a 32 bar cutting, a minute song, a two minute song, and you write it down because every college wants it differently and if you don't write it down, you'll miss something or you'll drive yourself crazy. Um, and next is choose songs that you love Honestly, so many times I was thinking of what the judges are gonna want, what the people on the other side of the table would want, and it drove me insane because you're never gonna know what they want. Art is just so subjective with different opinions. So finally, towards the end of my audition tour, I decided I was just gonna sing the songs that I wanted to sing, that I loved. And I did so much better. And I could tell the audiences I performed it for, liked it better because they, they could tell I loved what I was singing and it was genuine and honest and my monologues were also genuine and honest and I hit those out of the ballpark because they just felt right to me. They hit close to home. Um, research the university as well. Go to the Q&As, go to the seminars. I see things I see on my inbox all the time. Come see this, come join this Zoom meeting. And at first I didn't do it at all, I hated it. But then eventually I started, okay, opening up. What might this going to a meeting? And then you love it. Like it's so helpful, so informative puts you at so much ease. Third is attitude. Like I said, you're gonna be so nervous. College auditions are a total different breed of their own. You're gonna be more nervous. They're more time consuming, uh, more high tension. I mean, this is actual money on the line, not just a show you're going to get to be in or not get to be in. So you have to have the mentality of if it's meant to be, it'll be. I put forth the effort and the colleges that are meant for me will come and give me offers. Um, especially I'm a religious person so I am under the impression I put in all the effort that I can and Heavenly Father has a plan for me, a higher plan that I'm not seeing and that's gonna what's come into fruition. It is a lot of patience in this process. If I hadn't learned patience before, which I had it, I learned patience from this process. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, if they don't like you or if they don't end up choosing you, you'll never see them again. They have so many people they have to go through. They're not going to start telling the other theater people about how bad you did. So that's something that kind of put me at ease. And also you have a story to tell. You know, there's hundreds of other people with you sometimes and you're like, wow, everyone's doing theater. Why am I special? When you are, like, you are special because you have your own story to tell. The rep that I chose is so much different than what Joe Schmo is going to sing about. So just be confident in the fact that you have a story to tell. And this is an accumulation of years of study that you have put into this audition. So be confident in yourself. Um, oh yeah. You're gonna get interviewed a lot, so no answers about yourself. You'll be asked about yourself. But while yes, they're interviewing you, you are also interviewing them. 
you are interviewing their university, what they have to offer. And it's so good to ask questions. It breaks the ice. They remember you. The professors will remember if you if you talk to them, make jokes with them. Um, and you get a feel for the professors. What are they like? Are they extra fun? Are they a little more reserved? Um, sounds really helpful. And then know you're not alone. Uh, at my school, there's not a single other soul who is doing what I'm doing right now. And it can be very lonely. And so when I go to live auditions and I see all these other people doing it, it's endearing. So just know you're not alone. And when you're there, make friends, talk to people, break that barrier. Don't have this competitive tension in the air. It's just, you don't do as well. You are so much better when you feel comfortable with the people you're around and you make jokes and then you make connections. I've seen some of the same people at different tours and it's so helpful. And you can hear about what they've done and what they've gotten into or haven't gotten into. And it makes it a more fun process. Finally, just have fun because you're gonna be doing this for the next six to eight months and it's gonna be a living hell if you don't have fun. So find a way to have fun, find a way to put in the most effort you can, but also take days where you're resting. You, I sometimes go on walks or take a bath or spend family time, spend friend time to just whew, release all the tension so that I can do a great job at my next audition. So I hope that was helpful and I will be talking about my ASU audition in my next video.